Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa here in Sipper Green Tea City. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me. This was the park that we worked on in the last episode. Just enjoying a little look around that. We'll be doing some more work with some of the space that we have around the side here at some point. But today I want to work on some mass transit in our city. Um, we're getting to the point where we've got a few different places spread out. Traffic's okay. I mean, there's no there's no build-up of traffic anywhere. We're at a, a, a small sort of size, so we're, we're generally doing okay. Um, but if we have a look at... No, up here. Have a look at the traffic one. You know, things are all right. This is busy, we know, because of our recycling centre. But I thought, you know, this, this road down here, this main road that goes from our residential area all across here into our industrial area would be a perfect spot to put in a ferry no to put in a tram <laughs> down this road here so this road if i remember correctly it's just a standard four lane road we can easily upgrade that so we can put in four lane with tram tracks all the way down here and it doesn't mess up anything we've got which is absolutely fantastic so let's pop that in and then we'll see what's going to happen after that there we go. I mean, it could just go all the way down to the end. We shall see. I believe we do have an option to buy another square. Yes, we do. Um, yeah, we'll come back to that. We may or may not need that today. But yeah, so that'll be good for getting things down here. Um, we've got this connection across here. Mm, I mean, if I connect my tram straight from there to there... Uh, nope, this is the one I want. Just tram track. Ah, oh, ain't going to work with that there, is it? Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's move that to over there. And we'll connect that up like that. There we go. So if we run... Oh, they're going to need power. We'll get back to that. Otherwise, everyone's going to complain about lack of... You know what... Uh, yeah, that'll do. That reach over the top. Yeah, excellent. Um, yeah, so if we run that through there, I mean, that is going to end up with some stopping. Yeah, as they come round. We may need to look at that. I, I, as I've said before, this is going to change. As a temporary measure, that could work out okay. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. So we're going to need a tram depot in here somewhere as well. So, I'm thinking maybe just in this spot here would actually work perfectly. There is a noise attached to it. Is that going to be too near to there? Possibly. Let's do it over here. I'm trying to think about keeping it away from junctions and things. If I put it there, let's just have a look. It does add some stops in and out. Which is annoying because that's right by there. Hmm. Let's just have a look. I may move that. Let's have a look at the junctions. So if we turn off the traffic lights and make that one stop, that should just keep the cars going, shouldn't it? Which would be better. Uh, also, this on here, we could adjust this slightly. Oh, no, I haven't got the mod that lets me do all the clever stuff with the roundabouts and stuff, have I? I mean, we can turn those off, that and that, and just keep them going. And then any cars coming on have to stop, but anybody that's already on there can go. And that will have to do for now, until we get Traffic Manager mod going. I haven't tried that one yet, but I will do at some point. Um, yeah, so that will probably be okay there, next to our firehouse. And then we can set up tram stops. So, let's see. Let's take our tram line. I mean, we probably only need... Oh, we've got to have a turnaround, haven't we? Of course, I forgot about that. I mean, we could run the tram line up there and connect it around the back here. Do you know what? Why not? That would actually work quite well, because we can upgrade this road here, like that. We can upgrade that small one there. There we go. And then we could just join that down the back with just the tram, because I don't want the traffic coming round here. And that'll go to there. That'll upgrade to that. And that connects everything up. Yes! That could be good. That could be good. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Oh, we've also got to do a turning round spot here. I'm wondering whether, and we've got the main tram here, whether we want to take the tram anywhere else. 
I mean, I think people will walk at the moment from here down to tram stops down there. People will walk quite far. So, oh, we've got to do the turning round section. Turning round, turning round. Uh, let's do this and have it go. You usually just end up putting in a little square. We don't even need it that big. Here we go. Let's try that again. Oh, let's make it that size. There we go. So they'll come up there, stop there, go. At, oh, which side? Are oh, they going to cross over there, aren't they? Let's turn that the other way. So they'll come in there and then... Cut. Yeah, that's it. So they're not getting in each other's way. Excellent. That should be good. So if we put a stop... Um, let's see. Where's the paths coming down? There's a path here. I mean, anywhere along here, they're going to go to it. So let's just spread them out. Let's just have one in the middle of that section. There there that covers all of that I'm just wondering whether we could do mm, I might just change this and actually have yeah I'm going to change this let's take this out change my mind we're going to have this tram track come up to here and turn around the school and go back yes let's do that so let's join oh we've got a car park there uh, that's okay if we go like that, like that. There we go, wiggly tram track. And then if we upgrade this one. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, that'll be good. And that'll run back down there. Yeah. Let's do that instead then. So let's just take these off. Oh, everyone's unhappy. Well, actually, it's going to end up here anyway, isn't it? <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Um... Can't have one right in the middle. Is there crossings here? There's crossings there. Okay, so that's fine. So let's stop there. Do they really need to get out on this side? Not really. So then we're going to come down there. Yep, that's going to go all the way around. That's fine. And then we'll put them back where we just took them out from. So one there. Mm. Just spread them out a bit. I don't think we need them that close. One there. And then it's going to go... Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Which way round is this going? Yeah, we'll go this side. Let's go this way so they don't have to cross over the road. I'm just looking at where there's no crossings here. They're at the end. I don't have the mod where we can add crossings in, unfortunately. So... If I drag that and put it back. Yeah, there we go. So we have them at the beginning and the end of the road. So there, there. There and there. Then we'll go down the end of the road there. And then the end of the road there. And then you can head back up. Unfortunately, that's going to have to cross the road, but that's okay. Should we stop at the other side? Yeah, in case anybody here wants to leave and come down here, we'll stop these the other side. Uh, is that just going to end there? Yep, there we go. Excellent. Achievement unlocked. Here's a tram. So now we're going to have a tram pop out of here at some point. There it goes. Let's follow our new tram on its new route. So it's going to go this way first of all. Let's speed things up a bit. Hopefully that won't affect the traffic too much. Because it should lessen the traffic. Which hopefully will make up for any of the traffic that it's actually going to cause. <laughs> but we'll see. There we go. That's good. Cars can't come along the back there. So that's what we want. And it'll be interesting to see how many people start using this. And then I want to start adding some bus routes in as well. I mean, we've got a lot of traffic lights here. I may turn some of these off, to be honest. They're not all needed, are they? There we go. And I could adjust... Oh, man, we've got so many trams going on here. I'll tell you what, before that goes any further, let's have a look at the lines detail. So what have we got on here? Eight vehicles. That is far too many. I'm thinking three at the most is more than enough. We can always come back and check that out at another time. Should we just say it goes during the day as well? Or should we leave it? No, let's leave it all the time. Let's leave it all the time. Okay, go on, carry on then. 
Oh, he's taking the tram lane. Naughty, naughty. Well, that's good. No, actually, I say naughty, naughty. It's good that police cars will actually do that and make use of other lanes. There we go. Nice view through our ecologically inclined city, which is nice to see. Oh, loads of people waiting. Sorry, wrong side of the road. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take out some of the traffic lights here, I think, as well. They're not really needed just for a corner section. Because these cars can't go straight on, so... And probably here as well. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah, there isn't any there. And there we go. Our centre of whatever it was. Ecological arts? No. Creative arts and technology? Something like that. Okay, let's speed it up again around this way. Tight bend there, but well done. Good, that's looking okay. Then it's going to go back down and pick up all those people. Excellent. So let's just have a look at this junction here. Yeah, we're going to take those out. And you're going to stop when you come back. Other than that, you can all go because you're not getting in each other's way. Excellent. Did you not pick up these people here as you went past? Where are you? How many people have you got? What? Zero of 90. <laughs> Returning to depot. Oh, is he one of the ones that's been decommissioned? <laughs> I bet that's what it is. So he didn't even pick up some people on the way. Okay, well, there you go. So they're going to get picked up. Right, so we want to also add in bus routes. We have that option now. And taxis, maybe not quite yet. So, one thing I have noticed is how much less money that you get. Because of having, as we know, our zones set to... There we go. If you look on here, it says you get 30% uh, less tax income on those types of houses. Self-sufficient buildings. And also on these types of buildings as well, you get... Um, well, it doesn't actually say, so it's just from the people we get in less money. So, yeah, that's worth keeping in mind because it's making things more expensive to buy. What have we got here? Large avenue with bus lanes, bus station, biofuel bus depot. Now, that would be good. 40,000, good gravy. Um, it uses 240, 640, so a lot less water than electricity. Noise pollution is half. Cost 10,000 more and upkeep is more. So, hmm, interesting. Don't know whether you've noticed on this screen as well. There's now tabs here. Look. So it splits down your income and expenditure quite nicely. What's that say on there? Oh, there we go. From the different levels that we get. Oh, I like that. That is good. So now we can see what we're getting in from our trams that we've just set up. Nice. Level 3 housing. So people are upgrading, which is good. Level 1 industry. That's costing us that amount, but we're, we're making money. What's that on there? Trains? We haven't got anything else set up. What's that? <laughs> it's telling us we're spending money on trains. I mean, we're not. <laughs> What's going on there? Uh, right, now this has been running a few minutes. I wanted to check. What's the matter with you? Too few services. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. You've got no health service down here. So let's put in... I mean, we're going to buy two of these and have a load of money spent. I bet if we put in... That down here. That will take that away. Ooh, cemetery. Did we... Have we not put in a cemetery yet? We haven't, have we? Oh, man. Well, we can afford to do that. So I'm surprised they're not complaining about not having a cemetery. That could be something... Hmm, not quite sure I want that over there. But somewhere in the middle here, like this section, would be quite good. Let's put our cemetery here. Yeah, let's put a little path going up here to our cemetery. Where should we come off of? Let's, let's make this a junction. There we go. This is going to be a nice tree, a tree lined road leading up to where the cemetery is. We're going to break that road off there. Like that. And the cemetery is going to nestle in there. And that's going to make everybody happy, which is good. And then what we're going to do is 
can hear you. This one and this one. Hmm. Because we're going to run something up here. Let's go with this and see if we can... Oh, look at that. Not quite. There we go. I like that. Very nice. And then if we do the same there... Yep, and then we do the same here. Good, and then we can go up here. Excellent. Oh, you've got no water. Let's solve that issue for you. There you go, my friend. Power is okay. Yeah, there we go. I'll tell you what I feel like I want to do is get rid of these other trees in here. And have this more sort of an open park area. Should have got rid of these first before I put all the trees along the road. Then I could have just used the move it mod <laughs> to remove them. I don't quite like the mix that's going on. So what I was going to do is take all of these out. And then see if we can just put a forest in ourselves or something. Tree brush mod. That's another one I want to add. I'm going to go through all the mods I've got and start slowly adding them back in. Testing them out. There we go. And this little bit around here. Let's take those out as well. That's it. And then they can start sort of building up back up there. That's better. That looks a bit neater, doesn't it? Let's take out that one. I think that's it. And then if we grab... Let's see. What's... Whoa, here we go. Fire. Quickly sold. Good. Here we go... Yeah, I like this one. We'll have like a little... A little area along here. Just sort of protecting... Not protecting those uh, houses, but sort of blocking off the view of this park. Makes it sort of more of an enclosed, nice park area. Like that. And that can have a few more in the corner there. Make it feel a bit more like a wooded area. And then we can have a path going up there. Let's see. Let's go for this one. There we go. That can connect to there. Yeah, nice. I like that. Nice little path area. And then we'll have a few more... A few more here at the entrance. And then there may be sort of some there as well. There we go, that looks nice, doesn't it? Nice little wooded area you might stroll through and enjoy yourself. And then we'll do a similar thing on this side. A few more over here. There we go. And we'll leave that little bit open there. And then we'll add in... Where's the path? If we go like that... Like that. That connects. Ah, oh, nice. There we go. That looks good. Good. What path did I use there? Oh, I used that one. I wanted this one. Can I upgrade that? I can. Oh, there we go. Nice. That's what I wanted to do. Excellent. Yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Looks like it's supposed to be there. And then, in fact, what I will do as well is we'll have a few more of these these trees sort of around the back here and in this section and it makes our cemetery there we go it looks like it's supposed to be there nestled up in the hills let's have a few more of these along the back there we go and then they slowly thin out as it's going up the hill going up the mountain yeah there we go that looks good nice little area excellent right let's take a look at our passengers on here. Nought per week. What? Oh, 51 per week. There we go. <laughs> 51 per week. Is that all? Seriously? There was like hundreds waiting at the lines. Okay, there's one waiting there. 640064. Zero, zero, okay, right. We need to add buses in, don't we, as soon as possible to help people to get down to here. Um, we can afford it now. Biofuel bus depot. It works like a regular bus depot. Except it sends out biofuel buses instead of regular buses. Much more quiet than regular buses. Quick sip of tea. 
but carry just as many people. Place a depot before creating lines. Okay, so let's see. If we place a biofuel bus depot, I mean, we've got this area and these that can be connected by buses. I probably won't have lines going from here to here. We'll make people use the trams. Um, we do need to expand a bit as well, but we'll get to that in a moment. Actually, is there any areas up here I can... Yeah, let's fill in let's fill in some of these. People can live people can quite happily live along here, but let me zone this first. Let's take that size. Let's butt up against there a little bit. Uh, go down there. There we go, all the way down to the end. Just double check what Dale Park has got. Did we not set this as ecological? Yes, we did. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's showing up on there. Good, good, good. That's what we want. So that will now count for all of these as well. So, in fact, I am going to fill... Man, there's a big need. Let's fill in all of these. I'm quite happy for people living up and down this road. There we go. How far did that zone go? Ah, all the way to the end. Excellent. Uh, maybe not down that side. Yeah. There we go. We'll see how some of those look. Built up in the mountains. Nice. And then how far did the zone go down here? All the way that section there. That one looks a bit weird, so we'll go with those. Yep, that'll do. Good, got a bit of growth going on again. You're going to say too few customers. Yeah, well, we're just changing that, so don't worry about that. I, I love it when you see tractors coming in and dropping stuff off at these ecological places. That sort of fits. In my mind, that fits well. This car park is a bit winky-wonky, isn't it? Look at that. Might need to do a bit of terraforming. What's this? Fair trade coffee. Very nice. Hope his handbrake's working well. That's a bit of a drop down there. Anyway, where shall we put our bus depot? I mean, we're sort of going to want it out of the way, aren't we, somewhere? I'm thinking maybe... We've got that, that side, maybe here. How much noise is that going to make? Not too bad. Maybe it's going to be this side of the road. Yeah, let's have a road coming up here. So let's... There's a bit of space in here for a junction, so that suits me. How should we do this? Should we have... Do you want... No, I don't want to make it a road that goes in and out. We just have one road that comes out. So let's just put it here. That's the one, isn't it? Biofuel bus depot. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have... That coming up there. Let's see how big that is. Yep, that can go there. And then we'll have this coming up there. Nope. Why won't it? Oh, I've turned off the thing, haven't I? That's what I'm looking for, the road guidelines. There we go. Connect that up to there. You need some power. Well, there's power right there. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do to help with that. Let's put in some shops. Hopefully that will fill up. Yep, there we go. Take your bit there. And you're probably going to need water. No, nope, you're covered from water. Excellent, that's good. And then in the back here... Let's just make a nice little tree area. There we go, nice little park out the back. And then let's add some parking. In this section here. 4 by 10 will that go the other way? Perfect. There we go. Parking for the bus workers. That's what we want to see. Yeah, that'll do. That works out well. Nice. Oh, they need some water. Let's go up there. Along there. Excellent. Good, good, good. Right, so where's our buses going to go to and from? Well, we're going to want a bus to go round here. Most definitely. So... I mean, this isn't a one-way road, is it, either? So that can go either way. So let's, in fact, start... Hmm. Got crossroads there. I mean, they will walk to the middle, so I tend to want to put them away from junctions, if possible. 
and sort of spread them out. So if we go there. What have we got going on here? We've got that road that goes in there, but we want people to come out and visit this place, don't we? So let's move that one. So if we stop, let's say... Oh, they can turn around as well. If we stop there, that's it. And then on the way out, you can stop near these. And then it heads back round again. Past the junction, past the junction up there. Excellent. And then this one can wiggle around. It can stop up the mountain. Where should we take this one to? There's a lot of people there. I'm thinking we'll have another bus route for this one. So this will be the Elizabeth Park route. Uh, there's shops here that they may want to come and visit. So let's just add a stop at the back there. And then take it back. Do you think that's going to be enough? Or should we take it then down? So that will basically take them to the shops. Yeah, let's do that. There you go. That's a complete line. So that's the Elizabeth Park. Elizabeth Park. We'll call that one. It's got seven vehicles on it. Flipping it. That's a heck of a lot. We don't really need that many at all. Um... Let's put that down to four. That's fine. And then what I was thinking we'll do then is have one... Oh, let's change the colour of that as well. Let's make that red. Because you know blue is always going to be the default. Then we're going to have one that goes to Dale Park. So in fact, that could just have one stop. They will walk to the shops over here. But this Dale Park could come down here, could stop at a couple of these places. Yep, and then go all the way around to... Oh, that's not a road, is it? So there. Hmm. Oh, it will go here. Yes, there we go. So they can walk over to the, the tram stop. That's what I'm trying to get to. And then back up again. Yeah, we'll stop the other side of the road on the way up. We'll come into the shop. And then back to there. And also, I didn't have a shop on the way down, did I? But that's okay, because they can jump out there and walk. No, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. So then anybody who wants to come down and get the tram, they can now pick up the tram and come across to industry. So that will save them that car journey. And then I was thinking about a bus route around here, but... There we go. Look, oh, there's all the buses going. Way Busy town, 5,000. So we get city planning policies, level four unique buildings, leisure and tourism, specialisation. All sorts of things. Filter industrial waste. Electric cars. That'll be good. And some new roads, which is always nice. Fire station. Police headquarters. Hospital. Well, we've already had the smaller version of those. They're not going to suddenly be wanting tons of them. But lots of nice parks. Community pool. Geothermal power plants. Yeah, we're going to be saving up for that. Most definitely. Unless we can afford it already. Well, we can. If there's 80 megawatts, yeah, we'll see about that anyway. We'll come back to that. Let's carry on with this one. Um, so, do I want a bus route that goes up here and brings it, brings them down to here? I mean, it would be one would cover both of those. Or not. I mean, there is the schools up here, isn't there? We've got... That's the green market. Yeah, we've got that like, school there. Do you know what? That's probably a good idea. I mean, even if we just went... I'm trying not to overdo it with my buses this time. So we've got a school there and a school up there. Even if we have it start there... Let's see. If it stopped... So that would probably cover that block. We'll have it go there. Have it go there. And then out there. Nope. Why is it going around that way? It's going to go up there. Why not come in here? Oh, it's going to end up on the same side of the road. Okay, and then all the way back round and just hook up to that again. 
Yeah, that'll be okay, I think. So there. 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 Down to there. And then back round to there again. That's near enough, isn't it? And then that'll just help people get down to here if they so wish. Uh, let's change the names and the colours of these. So we've got... Dale Park over here. Which is... <laughs> Who knows <laughs> which one that is. Oh, it's not this one. Okay. Uh, number two, isn't it? Is that Dale Park? Yes, number two is Dale Park. There we go. So let's name that one. Dale Park. And we'll change the colour. Oh, he didn't save. Dale Park. Enter. Uh, we'll change the colour of that to yellow. And then let's have a look. 30, 30, 30, 130... Yeah, we're going to leave all the buses on Dale Park. There's lots of people using it. Wow, okay. Uh, number three is... Kent Hills. Nice. Uh, we'll change the colour for that. And that's probably got nobody waiting just yet. We'll come back to that one. And then the other one is going to be Cozy Heights. Number four. There we go. And we we'll change the colour of that one. That can be green. Excellent. Let's have a look at our first one we did, Elizabeth Park again. Let's have a look how the buses are doing. So 30, 30, 12, 30. There's a lot of people there. In fact, zip. Whoa, no, hang on. 100%. <laughs> I thought that was going to be 100% at the end. Uh, 98, 100. There we go. Seven buses. I think they're probably going to need that. So this will be something we need to sort of manage. Yeah, they're filling up. It's got seven vehicles. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. If we need more, we can we can put in more. Tram line. How's that going? Ninety out of ninety. Thirty out of ninety-nine and three. Not a huge amount, but that may go up. There we go. Look, lots of people just dropped off by the tram. There go the buses. The buses will start spreading out over time. And hopefully, more people will be using them. That will give us some more money. We've got 168,000 now. Traffic is starting to build up as we're growing. But it's going well. As always, it's going well. What's what's going on? Oh, autosave. What's your little problem here, mate? Let's have a look. Not enough workers. Okay, well, we don't have auto bulldozing on at the minute, so I'm going to do that myself. Well, there's plenty of workers, and they should start easy being able to come in now. So, and we need to expand some more. We'll look at that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hit the big B with the tea stain before you go to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.